Hello, welcome Swidey Carb. My name is Rob and this is Project Bangkok. And well, I kind of feel like this bridge right here, a little bit broken in places. It has been a heavy weekend, I'm not gonna lie, so I might sound a little bit funny. Why has it been a heavy weekend? Well, Creamfields. Creamfields finally come to Thailand and they finally come to Pattaya. And I made the most of it. I managed to get myself some tickets for the event. So we're gonna talk about that today. So real quick, for those who don't know what Creamfields is, Creamfields is a EDM music festival. So basically they have a main stage, they have a bunch of lineups, like basically every hour, you know, some of the top DJs in the world will turn up and uh, basically they do their thing. It's just a huge uh, sort of spectacle of lights and fireworks and fire and just everyone having a good time. Now, I'm just gonna say, I really, really enjoyed this festival. It, in the end, it turned out to be absolutely amazing. I'm super happy I turned up. I'm happy with what I paid for my ticket uh, but there are two sides to this story because on the first day I was actually not going to make a video about cream fields at all because I didn't want to say negative things about this that and everything else and basically just you know slag everything off but the first day it was very disheartening for a lot of people that turned up in the beginning like myself I turned up quite early for the festival and uh, basically all the security guards were saying right you have to sit down all the chairs were laid out there wasn't enough chairs for the amount of people that attended the festival that's for sure and you'll see in the video what happens anyway but uh, a few people are dressed up for the, the event. Like it was a festival. Everyone was like dressed up in all these amazing outfits and they wanted to get some photos, some selfies, you know, just not even video, but just a photo. And all the security were like, no, no, no photos, no this, no that. And everyone was just like, what is going on? So yeah, day one was a little bit disheartening, but towards the end of day one, they had to let everyone stand up. There's way too many people there for the chairs and the rules and the regulations. And they basically just let everyone just get on with it and be their own boss. And as for people using their phones and taking selfies, well, I actually got two hours worth of video that I had to chop down to make a montage for you guys. Uh, they, they, they just can't do anything about it. Everyone wanted to record the event. Everyone wanted to have memories of uh, just having a good time. Anyway. Now, like I said about my ticket, I was quite lucky. I managed to get myself VIP tickets. And what I didn't realize was that uh, Chang, one of the sponsors for the event, actually gave out free beers for the whole night for anyone with VIP tickets. They were literally daisy chaining them up the stairs and feeding them to anyone who had a VIP ticket. Ticket. hence why I sound and look like absolute garbage today. But. So anyway, as always, that's enough rambling from me. But yeah, most of the clips I'm gonna show you from day two, and um, yeah, just hopefully you enjoy them. And so yeah, let's roll that clip.
Well, that is it for the Cream Fields Festival. What did you think? What did you think of the clips and some of the outfits that uh, everyone was wearing? There definitely seemed to be a really good vibe on the second day and well, even towards the end of the first, it was just that initial getting used to the rules and everything else. But for the most part, I think everyone was really good. There was no fights or anything. There was uh, a few idiots at the event, don't get me wrong, but uh, no real fights. Everyone was just there to have a good time. Anyway, that is it from me here in Pattaya. I'm gonna go and get some sleep and get over this hangover and head on back to Bangkok to make you guys money next video thanks for watching and i'll catch you wise on the next one peace